welcome back. So we are with our student teacher. So what college do you go to? I go to the University of Wisconsin La Crosse. And what's your name? Garrett Sarar. It's a little hard to pronounce at the mm -hmm. end there, but the way I memorize it when he was here for our to be with uh, Mr. Gulkowski, if you remember him from our ref video. Yeah, I do. I, I watched that. That was a pretty good video clip. Well, I'm glad you liked it. Um, so, how would you like these, like, the, this is a spinner. How would you, how do you, my, how do you like these spinners? Right, I'm gonna be Can I see it, actually? Get a, like, because uh, it helps with ADHD people focus. From what I heard, yeah, I definitely see the value in these. Um, they're right right now. I'm currently at the middle school where I'm at Holman Middle School, and uh, a lot of these kids are. It's just came at a storm out of nowhere. All of a sudden, I saw a kid that had seven different ones on them, and so I, I can see the value of them where they can help a student focus yeah. while they're in class. Like, for me, when I do it, I just if you can see it, I just like. Do that. Yeah, just a little, just something that's the yeah. same as someone kind of tapping their foot yeah. or, or... For me, or is it on my Chromebook? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so, like I said, I see the value, but I also can see where some kids are sitting there and it's right in front of their face and they're all of a sudden they're spinning it and it becomes a distraction to yeah. others. Once in a while, I just give it a big spin because I like the feeling of the, mm -hmm. how it just, the weight just shifts around. Absolutely. If you you can try it to see what I'm talking about. Oh. Oh yeah, I can you, feel you, a little. You can feel it like a little tug. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, I, I definitely see the value for someone who may have some fidgeting issues that they mm -hmm. need something to kind of focus I mean, on. This is for people who has ADHD, but it's also pretty good for people who just are bored out of their minds. Right, and as an educator, it should be important that we are doing things for students that keep them interested in their yeah. materials. And by allowing them to have the spin fidget, this spin of fidget, fidget spinner, yep, yep, um, it does help keep focus. I use it once I'm in class when I don't forget it at home. Mm -hmm. So, I, well, and what 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 are you student teaching for? Uh, right now, I'm in a seventh grade classroom with uh, Mr. Tandy who says hello oh, by the way but uh, yeah. so I'm in seventh grade science with Mr. Tandy right now what unit are you guys doing uh, right now we are doing forces and fluids and now moving on to work power and energy you know is I bet it's a lot different from what you were doing here which was yeah so in the physical world it was kind of similar topics we were talking about motion and forces and um, it's just at the high school level, we take it to that next level. We do a lot of calculations and yeah, all the math, max. Absolutely. You know, the, my part, my favorite part of science, which you're probably trying to be a science teacher. Absolutely. Yep. Was the um, was the like the science experience, like mixing acids oh, and bases together. Yeah, Getting absolutely. That's, a, that's the reason why I want to teach science is so I can do that on a day-to-day -day yeah. basis where I can do little fun experiments. Mm -hmm. We did penny boat labs the other week. Oh, I, I remember that from, and that was a couple of years ago for me. Sure. But yeah, no, we tried to do a fun, engaging activities that really, and those are the things you remember, those science experiments. Yes, that you, like, um, I remember, but it happened this year. Like around the time we did the ref video, um, we did the ethanol and that kind of thing, mm -hmm. and that was pretty interesting. Yes, I I agree. Anytime you can get chemical reactions and you can get an yeah. explosion happening, that's an and A plus like, in science. And they put like different kinds of metals and change colors. It was really interesting. Absolutely. Of course. I had a program with my science, my chemcom teacher of recording the labs so I could put it on YouTube for my viewers who maybe was in my class and missed that day. Yeah. So I'm kind of like a helper to education for the science department. Absolutely. I completely support Ryan Kransky's video blogs. YouTube blog. Yeah, whatever. Um, I also. It is very important, I think, to get. Do you agree that 
it's very important for students and teachers to have a good relationship. Oh, absolutely. I think that's where learning begins. Is you got to have a friendly relationship. Mm -hmm. You got to have a good relationship. There needs to be respect between the student and the teacher, going mm -hmm. both ways. And if you don't have that, then learning can't yeah. begin. Because I know I'm not going to say names. Of course. Oh, you shouldn't. No, I not on here. But a couple, like if a teacher disrespects me somehow, I'm not going to show them respect back. Mm -hmm. the, now that may get me in trouble here and there, but yeah, oh well. Is True. that going to be a good relationship to learn? Is that a good learning relationship? No, and that's one of the things we learn in college is to, to really develop relationships with your students so that way you yeah. can have those fun science experiments yeah. or you can do those papers those together. Those hands on, like, so, like, be friendly to your students or teachers and they will help you. Because you, it looks both ways for learning. Absolutely. The teacher teaches the students, and the students sometimes teaches the teacher something new. Oh, absolutely! I learn many new things. A lot of times, projects you guys do the research for us, and then you present, and I learn something new every time when you are presenting new material. Which is interesting. Mm, absolutely. So, have you talked? To, so, what, what arts do you do at the middle school since you left us? Just science? Yep, I, I'm only certified to teach science, so I don't do any math or English or anything like that. I'm just certified to teach science at the moment, um, but otherwise... Are you looking for the math? Because math and science go hand in hand. Sure, they go hand in hand, and I do need to have a, an understanding of mathematics, but I don't need to have it to the degree of what yep. a math teacher might need yeah. to have. Now, we know that you need to have some, you, do you agree that you need some humor to uh, like teach, like just to get the students engaged? Oh, yes. I, like you, we were mentioning before about that interest level. If you don't have any humor, it's kind of hard to yeah. teach and not have students be bored in class. And just like just out of it. Right, yeah. You need the kids to laugh a little bit. Like, I, 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 my... If a math teacher of mine is watching this, um, please have more humor, because it is kind of boring in math. <laughs> not science though, right? Yeah, not science. Not science, that's good. M Mr. Johnson, oh, speaking of which, shout out, shout out to Mr. Sa Mr. S and for, for doing this video with me. And shout out to Mr. Reagan for letting me use his room. Shout out to Mr. Kinsman, Mr. Johnson, as normal. And shout out to all my viewers. Because without you, I can't do this. Absolutely. And I be believe we... I don't have any questions. Do you have any questions? I, I guess... Uh, do you have anything to add? Um, no, it's just that... If you are a viewer watching this and are wondering where to go in life, I highly advise the teaching route just because you can do fun science experiments. If you become a science teacher, you're always learning and it's just a fun profession to get into. Okay. Um, thank you for doing this video with me. Thank you. I appreciate it, Ryan, and I hope all are watching. See any bloopers? Yeah, I don't think we messed up at all. That was I pretty like, clean. I like the ref video with 